the pliability of fabrics, along with their long and complex history in the Indian subcontinent, has prompted several material and conceptual explorations in modern and contemporary art practices. Artists have adopted textiles as a medium, working innovatively with materials and techniques involved in their making. They also consciously explore the critical histories of traditional practices to shed light on the role of artisans in contemporary times and raise important questions that provoke new ways of studying the history of Indian textiles. Let's look at the work of three Indian artists, Mrinalini Mukherjee, Monica Korea, and Nilima Sheikh, whose practices reflect these explorations. The raw materials typically used for textile production have inspired visual artists to create imaginative artworks. Mrinalini Mukherjee was among the first Indian artists to experiment with fibers such as jute, hemp and cotton, as well as natural ropes, which he chemically dyed. As early as the 1970s, Mukherjee radically expanded the boundaries of Indian modern art by using such unconventional mediums to build robust sculptures. Her works, that embody organic and anthropomorphic forms, exude a sense of symmetry and feature subtle tonal variations. These large-scale sculptures that explore themes of mythology, nature and sexuality tread the line between figuration and abstraction. In one of her defining works, Nag Devta, Mukherjee uses tightly knotted hemp fibers dyed in purple and green hues. This phallic structure, juxtaposed against a vulva, also morphs into the Hindu serpent deity, as we can see here. Through her pioneering use of natural fibers, Mukherjee exposes the potential of seemingly ordinary materials by transforming them into sculptural forms. A number of visual artists have also trained in methods of textile production and incorporate these processes in their work. Monica Correa, a prominent textile artist, first learned how to operate the loom under the renowned Finnish-American textile artist Marianne Strangle in Boston and continued her training at the Weaver Service Center in Bombay. Through the technical skills she developed in the 1960s, Korea began weaving intricate tapestries that experimented with various gradients and textures, representing motifs inspired by nature. She routinely disturbs the linear and organized weaving processes and incorporates three-dimensional effects in her work through the innovative use of rough and textured wool and cotton. The resulting dynamism, as we can see here, has led the art historian Jyotendra Jain to express how these works embody a kinetic quality. In addition to working directly on the loom and engaging with technical processes, Korea also raises a number of questions regarding the gendered notions of labor and the caste based implications of textile practices. Nilima Sheikh's explorations of the historic textile trade and labor industry reveal to us how artists can amplify the narratives of traditional artisans. Influenced by her training in Thangka and Pichwai traditions, Sheikh's paintings frequently take the form of vertical panels and scrolls that embody multiple layers of meaning. Her Rosegar series depicts Kashmiri artisans engaged in traditional crafts. In Urdu, Rosegar means livelihood, and as we see here, the panels depict several images of artisans engaged in practices such as carding, spinning, weaving, and stitching. Sheikh emphasizes the postures of these laboring bodies at work as they engage in these rhythmic actions. The stenciled motifs and patterns we see across the panels recur across Sheikh's practice and are made in collaboration with other artisans. Her work Honarmand, which loosely translates to The Talented, is also dedicated to Kashmiri artisans and features similar imagery of various craftspeople at work. The overlaid texts recounts how the region historically flourished as a mecca of the arts, drawing attention to the artisans whose practices are now threatened due to the insurgencies in the region. 
through her representations, Sheikh ultimately traces the figure of the artisan, from being a subject of oriental curiosity during the colonial period to a symbol of national revival during the freedom struggle. Her works compel us to consider the relationship between art and craft within contemporary contexts. Textiles continue to serve as a potent subject and medium for artistic expression as age-old techniques and traditions lend themselves towards consistent reinterpretations and new possibilities, enabling present-day artists to explore broader themes and ideas.